the high pressure fuel system must maintain pressure with the ignition off. That's because during the next starting event, we want fuel pressure in order to start the engine quickly. If fuel pressure drops to below specifications, we could have an extended crank. So we're going to do the fuel pressure leak down test and some manufacturers call it the fuel pressure bleed down test. The test is going to tell us how much pressure bled off the high pressure system with the ignition turned off. The test is automatically. The computer is going to crank the engine over during this test. And the reason for that is it has to turn the camshaft so the camshaft operates the high pressure pump. The test is going to replace having you to connect the pressure gauge and start the engine, turn it off, turn the ignition off, and then watch for a bleed down. Don't forget, if you're going to do it manually, you have to review GDI Special Notes training in order to do it safely. Now this is the screen on one manufacturer's. This is the one we're going to demonstrate the test on. It is in bi-directional testing. Different manufacturers have different screen views. The first thing the computer is going to do after the ignition is turned off is going to fuel volume regulator to full flow. It's going to command the fuel volume control, the fuel volume regulator, whatever the manufacturer is going to call it on their car, so that it will flow fuel freely. And then the ignition is going to be disabled. The low pressure pump, the one in the fuel tank, is going to be turned on. The engine is then going to be cranked automatically so the camshaft turns. And after that, the computer is going to measure the built up pressure right here. And then it's going to command the low pressure fuel pump off. It doesn't need it for the rest of the test. The pressure is measured with the engine off right when we turn the engine off and we can see it here. When it was running, we had that number above it, 108, now we have 103 PSI. At that point, the test routes are going to be displayed. The bottom one where it says 60 second leak down pressure, that's going to be displayed after 60 seconds, of course. Let's blow this up so we can look at it. The first thing the computer is going to do for testing is measure the pressure after 10 seconds. It's going to compare that pressure to what the pressure was when the ignition was turned off. When the ignition was turned off, we had 103.5. 10 seconds later, we had 103.4. We lost one-tenth of a PSI. And we know that is within specifications because when we look in the green here, the specification says that the bleed off has to be less than 74 PSI on this model on this manufacturer. And then 60 seconds later, it's going to make another measurement. We can see 103.4 against that 103.5 when the ignition was turned off is still only one tenth of a PSI leak down. And the spec is the same, less than 74. PSI and we pass with flying colors here. If this test fails, you're going to have to find out where that leak is. There's lots of places to look. When we look at the overview of the system, we can see there's a lot of connecting points for the heavy duty steel lines. Here's three of them. Of course, there's more than a half a dozen. You're going to have to check all those. You can look at the common rail. Now remember the common rail is underneath the intake manifold. This is where a bore scope would come in very handy. Of course we can look at the fuel pressure regulator and see if it's leaking and everywhere an injector connects to that rail. We can look at the injectors themselves. Of course when they're mounted we can't see them. But we have to look at the o-rings and the seals and the injector itself could be bleeding down, meaning it's carboned open. And the high pressure pump, that can leak also where the steel lines connect to it. Now don't forget on the steel pump, on the inside when the piston comes up, it creates pressure to overcome a outlet spring. If this spring weakens over time, degradates over time, what happens is the high pressure fuel system 
bleeds right through the fuel pump and then because during this test the fuel volume regulator is wide open it will bleed right back into the low pressure system. Speaking of the low pressure system, test the pressure in the low pressure system for leaks just like you've been doing on PFI vehicles for 20 some years.